Just a couple hours ago an explosion was reported at the Japanese nuclear power plant Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant near the town of Okuma. This happened a few hours after Japanese officials warned about a possible nuclear meltdown. So how did this all happen? The earthquake in Japan damaged the ability of the control rods to regulate the fuel. And there is speculation that the containment facility is damaged. There have been reports of white smoke coming from the scene of the explosion. This indicates a containment breach and the escape of significant amounts of radiation. The main question now is, is there a breach in the containment facility? At this point events in Japan bear many similarities to the 1986 Chernobyl disaster. Now this is going to get a bit technical, but the key technology in a nuclear reactor lies with the control rods. Nuclear fuel generates neutrons. Controlling the flow and production rate of these neutrons is what generates heat. And from that heat, electricity. Control rods absorb neutrons. The rods slide in and out the fuel mass to regulate neutron emission and with that heat and electricity is generated. In other words, a control rod can be compared with a handbrake used to slow down the energy output. Now a meltdown occurs when the control rods fail to contain the neutron emissions and the heat levels inside the reactor thereby rises to a point that fuel itself melts, causing uncontrollable radiation generated reactions. And this makes approachment to the reactor very dangerous. Now a meltdown does not necessarily mean a nuclear disaster. As long as the reactor core, pressure and radiation remain intact, the melted fuel can be dealt with. And the reactor core is specifically designed to contain high levels of heat. Now let's say the reactor core breaches. Even then, it still does not mean a nuclear disaster. If the containment facility built around the core remains intact, the melted fuel can still be dealt with. It will of course be very expensive and difficult. And so I return to my first question. Is there a breach in the floor of the containment facility? If not, the situation can still be salvaged by somehow recontaining the nuclear core. But if the floor is breached, it is highly likely that the melted fuel will burn through the floor of the containment system and enter the ground. This has never happened before, but it has always been a nightmare scenario for a nuclear power event. Now what would be the consequence of all this? Japan is a very dense populated country. The capital Tokyo is the largest city in the world. Now the Japanese reactor is about 300 kilometers from Tokyo. There is speculation that outside the damaged power plant there is a radiation exposure of about 620 milliamps per hour. Normal radiation exposure for the average person is 620 milliamps per year. The firemen who served at the Chernobyl plant were exposed to between 80,000 and 1.6 million milliamps. An exposure to 375,000 to 500,000 milliamps is sufficient to cause death within three months for half the people who were exposed. That's why a 30 kilometer radius at Chernobyl is still a no-go zone today. Now another factor we have to take into account is the wind direction. With a bit of luck the wind could carry the radioactive fallout into the sea. This was a Caspian report by Mishirvan. Uh, thank you for watching. Saul.